Good afternoon. Victoria was a study we conducted over the last uh, four years in uh, 42 countries uh, across the globe. And it was really designed to look at a special high-risk population of patients with chronic heart failure and reduced ejection fraction who had had a recent worsening heart failure event. These patients we know are at high risk to both cardiovascular death and to uh, heart failure hospitalization. And it was indeed those two endpoints that were our primary composite endpoint in the trial. We randomized 5,050 patients uh, to uh, verisigwat or placebo on top of based uh, standard of care, which consisted of guideline uh, evidence-based medicines and uh, devices. In this case, they were very well treated, 60% on triple therapy, 90% on double therapy, and over 32% had both a ventricular pacemaker or an ICD. Essentially, uh, the bottom line of our study was that we showed a relative 10% uh, uh, relative benefit, but an important absolute benefit of 4.2 patients per 100 patient years treated in this high-risk population that achieved a placebo uh, event rate of uh, about 38% uh, for a median of 11.8 of months. So the take-home message here was that uh, the therapy made a big difference in a high-risk population. The number needed to treat translates to 24 patients. Importantly, Verisigwat, which is a soluble guanylate cyclase stimulator, opens a new pathway on the nitric oxide front that has not previously been available to patients with heart failure. So we think because it's a once-a-day medicine, uh, was safe, well-tolerated by patients, and does not need uh, monitoring of electrolytes or renal function because those important factors were not perturbed uh, by uh, this agent. We think it's uh, a useful addition to the heart failure armamentarium, especially in the one of four patients who deteriorate on an annualized basis. So we're uh, hopeful that this will, uh, uh, I think, make a difference long-term.